Sorry. Welcome everybody to the hot, 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 this damn show on the internet. It is Talking Mayhem Mania. I'm Matt, your favorite. Joining us tonight, Mad Mike, heartbroken, hurt feelings, Mad Mike in Beacon, New York. That's me. Yep. The heartbreak kid is here. Uh, over on the hey, West Coast. Hey, I'm Shawn Michaels finally. There we go. We got we got two on the West Coast. We got Tina. Hello. Hello. And we have Alex. Hi. We have an echo somewhere. I'm not sure where it's coming from. Hopefully it's just me. And we have the Honey Badger who joined us tonight, our special guest for Mayhem Mania. Hello. Happy 316, kiddos. Yes, happy 316 on a Friday, uh, which is when this airs. Don't worry. I mess it up all the time. Um, oh. So, Badger, how many times have you played Mayhem Mania? Is this like second time? Third? Maybe? I'm pretty sure this is second. Okay. Well, you were very confident in your uh, in your playing. You, you seem to have no fear at all going into this sometimes I, well but... i did it because i knew that trip pants was sponsoring the tag team of Brian ripley and alistair black so there's money behind that i like it um now that is a designated as a cinematic match do you got anything uh any ideas for what kind of cinematic match you would like to see like fighting in a graveyard fighting in an abandoned steel mill uh, fighting in an abandoned mall parking lot, like you know, um, ideas I'd for really setting. I really like it if it turned into like a monster truck show. Yeah, like right, the right, tag right. teams get into like a monster truck that like magically looks like the tag team, and it's like, how did that get here when we just teamed up for the first time? That's what I would like to see, and that's actually how one of the teams gets eliminated is uh, they smash into each other. Wow, an elimination tag that'd be. Very good and I mean, extra long. We, so we, we all do. know Monster Jam is a work, so that makes sense. It See, is. It's a it's fantastic the, work. It's the same crowd. Mm-hmm. It's the exact same crowd. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I always thought it was interesting. The one, I've probably been to more than one Monster Jam show, but going to that first Monster Jam show and being like, this is vaguely familiar. <laughs> This is interesting. Monster Jam oh, is the same as Battle Bots. It's, it's all a work, brother. That's it's right. All a work. They're all getting worked. <laughs> um, I will quickly run through the uh, card here, uh, just for posterity. Uh, let's talk about all the matches that are not on here anymore for Men Mike. All right. Uh, we now uh, anyway, the cinematic match is now uh, the Fiend and Alexa Bliss versus Johnny Mundo and Taya versus Aleister Black and Rhea Ripley. Uh, also tonight we got Legato Del Fantasmo. Finally, DJ Z is on the card versus Tyler Breeze and Fandango and RJ City. So two for one, friend of the show's there. Sasha Banks versus Mako Satamora. That was another match. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Alex tried to put uh, Bad Bunny into another match and ended up getting killed. So Alex Cars will be back next week under the Alex Cars rule. Yes. It finally just, happened again. Just the way it's intended. Uh, we also... Sorry. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll circle back to you. Let me just speed through this. We also have Randy Orton versus Papa Shango, Drew McIntyre versus Adam Cole, Cameron Grimes versus Xavier Woods, Keith Lee versus Pete Dune versus Cesaro versus Walter, and Kushida versus Shinsuke Nakamura versus Elias versus Roman Reigns. Alex, where were we? What match did you try to make? I tried to put in... Oh, shoot, give me a second. I tried to put a bad... Put... Bad Bunny with um two other bees. Oh, yes. Bad Bunny with Bronze and Reed and Big E. Yes. yes. That the was the my Brian match. And the bad. All right. I was so happy about that. And <laughs> Butcher then, and the an, Bunny and the Blade. And then <laughs> and then an injustice happened. And I'm oh, pretty. Oh, don't give me this injustice shit. You blaming Tina? Where's Tina? Well, no. Here's here's here here's oh. the. Okay, Tina, listen. Alex says uh, he he might harbor some hurt feelings over this. Uh, well, just, a just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, 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 no. Oh. I, if there was any injustice, it was against me for mm. adding Bad Bunny to that match. Um, it, was, um, it was one week away from being graduated. Mm-hmm. Tina, uh, you know, you are 100% correct. If it had survived this round, it was going to graduate. And that would have been two for you this year. Mm-hmm. Two, mm-hmm. Tina two, the world nothing would have been the score. Right now, it's only Tina one, the world nothing <laughs> in Mayhem Mania. Yeah, but Al- Alex, you, you can't talk about injustice. Not this week. Okay, fair enough. Not, not this week. <laughs> Anyways, so, all of- Matt, Matt, has anyone, I asked this on the show, I don't think we have official stats. Has anyone lost three matches in one week? 
you know what? I won't come to your pity party here, Mike. I don't. No, it's know. not a pity party. <laughs> it's it's a legitimate question. I'm I'm legitimately uh, I curious. Don't, I don't know if anyone has ever had it worse than you. Man. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. <laughs> Matt, uh, Matt, uh, Matt, Matt, I have a question. Go on. Do I have a move next week? I don't know. See, this is when things get a little tricky. Okay. Um, I, you know, I'm going to call up my doc right now. Oh, well, he's got and, a doc. And uh, okay. I'm going to say, what's up, doc? No, no, no. Don't do that. <laughs> um, oh, my God. God. Uh, where are we? Did, did, did no one else think that whenever I said that? No, okay. no, no. That was... That was... That was too perfect. Uh, you are, according to the move tracker, you have made five moves this year in Mayhem Mania, mm -hmm. entering tonight, uh, putting you alone in the lead. Uh, so we don't want you well, to get too one far One of them was away. Alex Cars. One of them was the Alex Cars rule. I mean, that may be the case, but still. I don't have moves. control over that. I, you may not have <laughs> control over it, but, you know, in the interest of fairness, uh, I believe we did try to... Uh, be equitable in the distribution of moves. Now, the good news is that uh, the log jam at three moves has been relatively cleared. So now, after tonight, uh, everyone, DP, Riz, Sorg, Chad, Tina, Alex, Bobby, have all made four moves. Okay, so, uh, so to Mad Mike's five. I, I'm so at, really no, I'm at four have... because I got Alex's cards. So no, I'm you... at four. Five moves. But I had no control over but it. But one of those wasn't them. your fault. That's right. It wasn't yeah, my that's, choice that's to bring. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll, yeah. I'll get. I'll get a baby and put it into the crowd. You just kind of right surged now. it into the surged you into the lead against your will. So I, I mean, it, it'll be fine. Uh, yeah. I'm sure everyone will get a move or two here. So next yeah. week we'll bring somebody in. I, I'm just. I'm just wondering. Arguing. I'm wondering how much I have to up my Patreon. That's. What uh, I mean, I. I. Who knows? I mean. How badly do you want to determine the order of play during Patreon and the pen? Matt, Matt. Alex, how bad do you want to determine? I'm not going to be discussing my strategy at this time because mm -hmm. I, I know how these movies usually play out. Alex, Alex. This is going to be like Alex, the, the uh, Alex, paper you and I, there Alex, you and I have had relatively good terms this year for Mayhem Mania. Yes, this is I, true. I, I have a question. Uh-huh. Do you want to make me an enemy again? Um, let me just put it this way. I have three very specific things. It's a things. yes or no question, Alex. Uh, no, I don't need any okay. enemies Good. this year. Good. Because I know yeah. if I make an enemy this year, it's going to screw me over next year. And no, no, that. no. Alex, Alex. If you screw me over on this, <laughs> it will be the next five years. <laughs> the tension. The tension and trauma at this moment the right now. We'll be doing this for another five years is deeply unsettling um, to me. Let, let, <laughs> I wanted to give Matt some heartbreak by saying hey, five more. I mean, years. I, I, hey. I'm hoping to like hey. leave this in my will by then to somebody else. Sorry. Oh no! Oh, because, it's gonna become Mason Mania. After no, because if you leave yeah, it to well, Mason, right. Mason's just going to outbook all of us. Even well, I mean, so. God knows we're not leaving in Chad the Shad song. Uh, Trusting hands. So. Um, All right. So I mean, look, we're looking at. Um, I mean, to figure out who's going to come back next week. I just. I don't know. Hey, I'll, I, I just, I, I have three very specific goals for for my my contributions for Mayhem Mania, and I'm just laying them out now because we are coming close to the end here. Mm -hmm. I have three very specific goals, and I'm thankful that things have been okay for the most part. I want to make sure that the head of the table has a spot on this card, and so yeah. far that's the case. I would like to see Bad Bunny on the card because he's actually he's actually contributed arguably some of the most a celebrity has in the past year to uh, the the to the culture of wrestling, so to speak. And I want to make sure, and I'm hoping against all hope that I get a TLC match on on the Super Card this year. We'll see which of these three things actually happens when we get to the end, but that's where we're at. Um, all right, so here's a question for you guys. Um, who among these people are, you know, I guess we you consider the core players is a Patreon, is not a Patreon contributor. So, like, DP is a contributor, right? Mm -hmm. Riz, is Riz? I believe so, Riz. Okay, is, right. Sword doesn't give, he cheapskate. Uh, Chad the Shad, <laughs> I don't know if Chad the Shad does. I, maybe he does. No, he Chad, Chad doesn't contribute. Chad doesn't contribute, so maybe we Chad? should bring. We should make sure we bring Chad back next. Right, well, so next week, back, Alex has to come I, back. Matt, I have, I have a point of order. Okay, is Chad's veto valid for Patreon in the bank? I um, 
you, you know, that's a good point. I'm, I'm really trying because to Because if not, things. next week might be his last week to use it. I was thinking that, you know, I don't really know if it's really necessary to take that away from him because I kind of feel hey, like he's... Yeah, Matt, I feel Matt, like he's if you get kicked off... Sur- so if, he can do, like, the Seth Rollins at Matt, Patreon in the bank if you get kicked in. off Survivor with an immunity idol in your pocket, that's on you. <laughs> Okay. Well, okay. So that's a good you. way to put it. So, so if we bring him on next week, and he forgets, and then he just sleeps through Patreon in the bank because he's not a Patreon, and then May- Mayhem Mason Mayhem Mania ends, <laughs> um, and then he wakes up the next day, and I was like, and I'll like send him a little note with a piece of paper, it just says video on it, expires, you know, three thirty <laughs> twenty one. Uh, enjoy your coupon that you can't cash in anymore. Um, all right, so we should bring back Chad next week. Okay. So Wait, I've, gonna got, do round I've got nine. buying bots. They're going to hit at midnight. I'll contribute to come back. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> all you have to do, you, you, Badge, you don't have to do, you don't have to give us your entire stimmy check. Um, just yeah, a e- dollar. Yeah, easy, just a measly, easy. tiny little dollar is enough to get hey, you listen, in the door. No, seriously. For I was going to say, don't, don't get greedy. Nacho fries are going away, and I got to get that. <laughs> I gotta well, get that while it's well, good. Badger, because here, here's the thing: if if someone is the whoever the largest patron controller is, controls the order. So if you only have one dollar and that person is a big fan of the honey badger, you could go first potentially. Of course, okay. that depends on whether you think that's where you want to be or not. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's so many factors. I mean, because there, because even really me, I've, I love I've it. Sat there before and I've been like, oh, you know what? The the the, the higher the contributing Patreon, they definitely want to go last. Last is where you want to be. And then, like, the more I thought about, it, especially the last couple of years, I'm like, maybe this isn't no. such a good idea. No, <laughs> maybe you want to go. You first. always, you, you always go. want. If you always want semi main, whether you're in a band or whether you're a wrestler, that semi main spot is that like sweet spot. If you know you can't crush it, but you know you're just good enough to <laughs> slam dunk that semi main, that's where you want to be, baby. Semi main, right before Liddy versus the whoever we find up with. Like, tiger you're good enough to make to put the added pressure on the main event people, <laughs> and if they shit the bed, you're the last good thing they remember. Yep. Yeah. Follow so. that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I took Patreon sorry, in the bank. Sorry, you got to cut your that. time because I went ten minutes long. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we were brawling outside the ring for fifteen minutes. I forgot. <laughs> um. Oh man, that never happens, right? They're no. Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The, uh, yeah, so, um, you know, the Patreon in the bank, uh, so, so next week will be the last, you know, normal round, uh, and then uh, March 30th will be Patreon in the bank, uh, and I will do what I always do before Patreon in the bank, and I will go back and watch last year's Patreon in the bank so I can try to remember what the rules are for Patreon in the bank. Uh, no more Infinity Gauntlet. No more Infinity Gauntlet. That was too much. That was a but I'm glad we I'm glad we found the line last year. Now yeah, we the, know where the, the line, line was is. bringing people back from the dead. Yeah, once that we start bringing people line. back from the dead, I'm like, you know what? This is not in the spirit of mayhem. Mania. We should just now, wait, just, now Matt, just a click back. That's all Matt, right. I have a question. Yeah, uh, another point of order. Could we bring back the Infinity Gauntlet? But it's one person from another company. No, no, no. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm no, it went. No, I'm, I can't. I can't. It a, went a forbidden far. portal of sorts. A forbidden door of sorts. Unfortunately, there's no hallway that leads to the uh, industry leader, so uh, yeah. it doesn't matter so how tell, many forbidden so doors you have. So you're telling me after the last, after two years ago or whatever, I still can't book Kenny Omega. I hate to hear it. Yeah, you hate to see it. Yeah, honestly, Matt. But, but hey, you, but you hey, should have allowed make, that. Did I make the right call? No, uh, no, yeah. during that no. One week when he was a free agent. No, yes, you, no, you did not. Call. No, you, you did not. Have to pull that match down. No, because you should have let me book book Makita, the one week before she appeared on, <laughs> before she appeared on Dynamite. I love that we're still trying to come up with these technicalities all after all of these years. I wanted still... to book Makita versus Walter just to see. <laughs> well. Well, then maybe, you know what? Uh, I don't know how you're going to do that. I mean, she's going to go back and uh, she's got a company over there in Japan. 
that she works for. Uh, we had this whole thing diagrammed. Sorg and I went through this earlier. Germany's a lot closer fine, to Japan fine, than the fine. We're going to do a flow chart. Go to chart. Japan, and I will get her back. Fine. <laughs> I want to go, go to Nintendo World anyway, so I guess I can make a stop and do be like... Do you think we could get somebody to, like, in the role of Maki Ito? Versus you at our tax refund and stimulus check funded. If we can't, show. if we Honey can't Badger get... versus not, uh, and we'll put it like really small print, Alex, not Maki. <laughs> or <laughs> no, or someone kind of dressed like Maki her. Ito with like an asterisk. <laughs> Maki, just, uh, you know, just, just put the quote no, marks around no, guys, Maki we, Ito. <laughs> we just call her Naki Ito. Not Kito. I hate it. I hate that's it. Kinda, that's kind of hate it. Mean. I hate it. That's a little on the nose. Um, let's uh, let, let, let's, Maki, let's pray Maki for Maki Ito. If we can't, if we can't, do, do get, we have um, a boy or girl who could who could at least play the role? How's their Kokeshi? Really, I, I'm gonna have to see. I bet. Video. I bet Ziggy could do an amazing Kokeshi. I'm just saying. I mean, Jesus I didn't just want to blurt it out. Book it, fund probably. it, whatever needs to happen. Just make it. Just make it happen. Make it happen. Let's make it happen, Captain. Ziggy Ito. There we go. Ziggy Ito. Ziggy Ito. Because then we can, uh, whenever one asks for a big payday, I can be like, Brad and I can be like, I can't, I can't give you any more. We gave all the money to Maki Ito. We had to fly. And they can be like, that's not Maki Ito. We'll be like, what? We're funding. What? Jim Ross told me it was Maki Ito. I was assured. I want that to be the excuse you also give to like anybody that's like a panhandler in traffic. Be like, bro, I would give you so much money right now, but I'm funding Badger. And I would give you my, I would give you my whole stimmy right now here outside the Liberty Tubes, but. <laughs> I'm running this independent pro wrestling show, and I have got to fly in Maki Ito for this thing. The Badger demands it. Jim so. Ross in 1996 told me that this was absolutely Maki Ito. Are you saying it's not? <laughs> oh, fake Maki Ito? <laughs> oh, see, they're it's just like, what, what's the problem? They didn't go out of business. Oh, we fine. can. Oh, we can get Kane to be fake Maki Ito. That'd be great. Oh, we should. Just, we're we're gonna book everyone fake. We're gonna. We're gonna I get just so want, many people in costumes. We're only gonna have to have like four or five actual people there, and then we're just gonna hit costume changes backstage the whole. Time. Oh, we're just gonna turn this into the intentionally bad wrestling show where it's like John Cena will be in attendance, and it's the no, cardboard no, cutout. Sorry. No, no, and it's the cardboard Sorg, cutout. We, we are not. Re- we're not resurrecting five dollar wrestling. So no, the intentionally bad right. wrestling show is on Mondays on no, USA. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so we all. I, I have to talk to Brad about this, but we already have three really good matches. All right, we've got Badger locked in. All we need to do is dress up someone as Maki E. <laughs> Ronnie Starks is a special guest referee and also refereeing all the other matches. I will. But for I that will. match, he's the special referee. For Ex- all the other matches, he's just the referee. Except for the, the, uh, except, the, for the except for the match where Super Loco Hot Coco comes out. I mean, I'm sure we can find a spot for him. I will put out there oh, Norm somebody, Connors. Super Loco? Uh, uh has been has been looking to fund a Baden versus Badger oh, for oh my quite, God. for quite some time, oh. and I know Ooh. I know I can make Jr's brain blow out the back of his fucking hat if he saw just two idiots wasting five minutes crawling around and <laughs> snarling at each other. <laughs> five minutes of a I ten minute match. match. Badger, I know, Badger, I know, Badger. I know. You know what? I'm gonna end up fixing. I'm gonna fix Jr's face with this match because he's gonna have <laughs> such a fucking conniption that it's gonna like reverse. Oh, Badger, Badger, so Badger. you're welcome. I, I just fix. I just fix wrestling. Badger, I want this match to happen, but I, no, I want it to cinematic, and I want to film it like a nature documentary. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, go get that. Who is that? British guy that says, I was like, gonna say, and, and now we see the honey badger stalking. Oh yeah! Right? Can I? Oh, oh look, there, there it is, a wild Abaddon over there. Does the anyone back. know anyone with an accent? Preferably not I, Yin's or... I can fake an accent, Matt. <laughs> Do, what, no, no, me, no. Someone give me a script. I, I can fake a fucking. No, it's accent. time to call in our longest mayhem show oh. listener from England. Oh my god. For that, oh, oh, I was say big Russia. not big PP. What? What is Can you imagine a nature documentary with a Russian accent guy narrating Wait. it? That'd be interesting. I also know a guy that lives in Moscow. <laughs> That's so. the only way.
way you can Bill, narrate well, a honey badger, honey badger documentary. So, so I see this honey badger. She is stalking the abaddon <laughs> in the wild. <laughs> okay, okay. Send for my iPhone. <laughs> Send from my iPhone. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Matt, take us home. Um, all right. Hey, Sorgi, who's on the show next week? Chris next Taylor. Chris, Chris Taylor. Chris Taylor will be here. And maybe, <gasps> maybe he will be able to muster the courage, as Honey Badger did, to play Mayhem Mania. We'll see. Anyway, thank you, bud. Thank you, Honey Badger. Thank you, Mad Mike. Thank you, Alex. Thank, thank you, Sorgi, for pushing the buttons. We appreciate all of you watching. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Catch up on the lore. Stay May Hemi.